Hello guys, welcome to the channel, today we are fixing FIFA 23 stuck at splash screen issue, this happened for me when FIFA 23 EXE is set to run as administrator, as we can see on the screen, it took longer than usually, 9 to 10 seconds stuck, I thought it was not gonna launch, but it launched. On this scene Rio, both Origin Desktop EXE and eApp Desktop EXE were not set to run as administrator. When I unchecked run as administrator from FIFA 23 EXE the game launched in less than 3 seconds. This approach has worked for me. If it doesn't work for you, then set both FIFA 23 EXE, Origin EXE, and eDesktop Desktop App EXE to run as administrator. Purchase FIFA 23 Ultimate Team Coins from U7Buy.com, click on link in video description, use discount code Bensum for 5% off discount. Sports, it's in the game. Now I launch FIFA 23 when FIFA 23 EXE is not set to run as administrator, as we can see the game launches without being stuck at the splash screen. Best option is to set FIFA 23 EXE, Origin EXE, and eApp EXE not to run as administrator, it has worked for me. EA Sports, it's in the game. Delighted to be able to report very agreeable weather for the fans here at the Emirates Stadium.
I'm Derek Ray, and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And we're fully convinced this game will live up to its billing. It's Arsenal up against Bayern Munich. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Granit Xhaka plays with Thomas Partey in central midfield. And the focal point in attack is Gabriel Jesus. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Müller. Sadio Mane now. Good visualisation and execution. Oh, good work by the keeper. Playing it in, not quite the clearance they were hoping for. A really meat and drink to the keeper under the circumstances. Ben White. Granit Xhaka. Clean challenge. The supporters want to see him have a go but can't avail himself of the chance. Well, he'd be disappointed with that. Maybe it's just come a bit too early for him. Coman. Coman. And a play for a Bayern throw-in. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. Jesus. White. And a throw in for Arsenal. Promising possession, this. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Routine catch for Manuel Neuer. Pavard. Pavard with it. And Bayern Munich now in potentially a dangerous position. Pavard. Müller can do so many things, scoring amongst them. Well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish. But the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post covered for me. And the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Jesus. Now, let's see what they can do here. And a tidy challenge. Well, there it is. Bayern just haven't had as much of the ball, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. Yes, and maybe another break brewing here. Goretzka. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Can they square the game? And it's gone in! Beyond the goalkeeper, Arsenal level. Well, here it is again. And the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And what a clinical finish this is from Jesus. He hits it with such power. That's a good goal. So the ball is rolling again at one all.
Alfonso Davies. Well, not the pass he had in mind. Saka. This attack looks highly promising. Can he put them ahead? Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Let's see about the delivery. The idea was to get the corner beyond the first defender, but he didn't succeed. And a chance, Udegaard! Nicely saved. And he's fired over the corner. Able to deal with the threat. White. It's with Erdogan. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Could be. Oh, off the post. Still alive. Another time for cool heads. And time is up as far as the first half is concerned here at the Emirates. Well, Gabriel Jesus had a lot to say for himself in the first 45. Sum up his performance for us. Well, he certainly got his team back into this game with that goal because up to that point, they hadn't played particularly well. Into the second half then. And these two sides are locked together. Just can't really choose between them at the moment. Well, spot on with that challenge. Martin Odegaard. Leon Goretzka. A potential danger here. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. And Bayern moving the ball with purpose. Oh, he looks threatening. Bayern throw in coming up. And Bayern will change personnel now. And here's Joshua Kimi. Can they forge ahead? Oh, a great chance it was. Goalkeeper has it. Well, we're into the final half hour. And he read it superbly. And providing width. Wonderful challenge and a throw in coming up. What a game we've had so far. Goals at both ends, some near misses as well, and some good individual displays. You can't take your eyes off of this. Yes, I mean, they're matching each other, attacking blow for attacking blow. Well, clearly in the mood to make it a double, but fine goalkeeping. Well, he's playing really well today. That was another decent attempt. Arsenal pushing forward with options available. Inside he goes. Real chance. And in. Oh, yes. Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. But you do have to ask questions of the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. What 
a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Coman, promising move this from Bayern. Opportunity to deliver the cross. We're racing away here. Surely the equaliser. Oh dear, oh dear. The goal was at his mercy. Tame effort. Martin Odegaard. It's with Odegaard. Went in strongly, decisively. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. Muna! And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. It's a substitution for Bayer. Delivered into the box. Well, it's the late show, and they are level again. Well, here's the replay, and you can see why the manager is furious. It's just really poor play, offering up possession far too easily in a dangerous area. And at this level, if you keep doing that, you're going to get punished. It's just not good enough. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Well, the fans are making so much noise here. They believe the winner's coming, but it needs a moment of inspiration for one of those players out on the pitch. What a finale we've got. level pegging but can they change that and he's in the referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace so deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture and disappointingly can he put them in front no is the answer to the question and that could be so important at this stage well will they get another chance that would surely have won the game for them Playing it in, insufficient accuracy as regards the corner. Throw in here for Arsenal. And it's Gabriel Jesus. And they have possession again. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level and extra time is coming up. Good visualisation and execution. Oh, good work by the keeper. Pavard. Lula can do so many things, scoring amongst them. And the counter looks on here, options available. And it's gone in, beyond the goalkeeper, Arsenal level. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Nicely saved. Arsenal pushing forward with options available. Inside he goes. Real chance. And in! Oh yes! Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. Muda!
delivered into the box. Well, it's the late show, and they are level again.